Hey everybody, welcome to Good Day Worthless Heckler. That was submitted by Stoned Absurdist at Twitter. If you like what we're doing here, be sure to subscribe and like, and even join the 420 Club at patreon.com slash gettingdug. If we reach our 1,000 membership goal, we're gonna repair the heavy monkeys, send one to a member. And we're giving away an autographed complete merch set at this month's giveaway, and we'll announce the winner next week during the show. We got a show next week? I'm excited, that's the first time hearing of it. And I'm doing stand-up at the Tampa Improv on Saturday, July 2nd, the Improv in DC on Sunday, July 10, Dab's Day at 420, and at the Pemberton Music Fest in Canada on Sunday, July 17th, douglovesmovies.com for all my dates and deets and links. Enjoy the show! Everybody, blast off. We're here. We've got an empty seat in the middle, which is always exciting. But uh, you saw her name flying through space. Janice Griffith is flying through LA traffic at the rate of five miles a minute or something like that. And uh, I mean, one mile every five minutes. But here, joining us, grinding, getting ready to roll some controversial blunts. Controversial. We were just on Periscope with some people who don't, don't like blunts. Uh, it's Ramon Rivas II, everybody. Hello. Hello. R-R-I-I, I like to call him. Yeah. Uh, what's up, dude? Shit, just, uh, just uh, this will be my third blunt of the day. Okay. I uh, got a little head start. Yeah, that's nice. And just hanging out in LA for a while, man. Yeah. It's been good. Yeah, you're, uh, you got uh, your comedy festival coming up in Cleveland? Yes, I do that. This will be the fifth year of it. Uh, I think it's got some some Getting Doug alumni, Brandon Wardell. Yes, of course. There. He uh, sat in this middle chair with his feet up on it like a little tiny weirdo. Uh, <laughs> Kurt Brownoler, best stelling. Mm -hmm. uh, Langston Kerman, a uh, bunch of pretty dope people coming to Cleveland for the first time which would be cool. I love it. And that's at the end of August. That's assuming Cleveland makes it through the Republican National Convention. Right, uh, place might get trashed. Might get trashed. I mean, it got kind of trashed when the Cavs won the championship on Sunday. Really? Was, oh, how bad was that? How bad did it get? I mean, it was just like a, cel a celebratory riot. Right, so like, but it's so weird how they're pretty much similar, the angry ones, yeah. the sad ones, and the happy ones. People were just walking around, like the, the bars wanted to stay open in Cleveland later, but they couldn't because they ran out of booze. So like people were celebrating hard, right? And I was so I was just here. I was like, oh. and then got super drunk and were told we're out of booze. Yeah, and that's that's no good. That's very no good. Yeah. Um. So you planned this whole trip around not being there for that? Because no. we lose, that would have sucked for you to be living there, right? Yeah. I mean, game one and game two, I was in New Orleans taping uh, uh my debut Comedy Central half hour special. Um. And so, like, I feel like I sucked up all of the Cleveland energy. The there it is. What it's is 19 that? minutes after the hour. Have you seen the oh, show before? No, no, I didn't know there was an alarm involved. <laughs> you might have seen episodes where I forgot to set it. Gotcha. But that's my uh, one minute till 20 minutes after uh, alarm. And okay. let's see, let's take a look and see who, I know East Coast, it'll be 320, so who's who's going to be smoking with us? Uh, Rio de Janeiro can smoke Ooh. with us. Uh, they probably shouldn't because they got a lot of work to do to get ready for the Olympics. Didn't they say they might not be able to host it? I, there's a lot of weirdness around uh, this Summer Olympics, and uh, we'll see, uh, We'll see if it happens, mm. or where it happens. It can, it's a little too late to move it, I think. Uh, you but, never know, uh, man. You know, one newscaster's already not going down there, a lady from the Today Show, because she's pregnant and doesn't want to have Zika virus. Mm -hmm. um, Tokyo, Japan is celebrating 420 with us in the AM. Nice. It'd be lovely to hear from one of you guys on, uh, on my Twitter, uh, if you're watching, probably not. And um, let's see what else is going on. Janice says that she is sorry that she is late. Mm. What's it say on the Uber now? How many minutes? Refreshing. Oh, gotta refresh it? Three minutes. Three minutes. Should See we what wait? I'm saying? It's just crawling over here for some reason. Should we wait to light this for her? Or should... No, we gotta go at 420. Okay. Yeah, yeah, she, I'm sure she's high already. I'm not worried about All that. Right. So uh, yeah, let's just hit some stuff. 
and uh, celebrate the, the moment like we're supposed to. Cool, man. Yeah. So this is great. This is like subsidizing my weed use for the day. That's one way to look at it. Mm -hmm. What's your Twitter handle? We gotta get that uh, Twitter handle out there. My Twitter handle is Blazer Ramon. <laughs> yeah. B -L -A -Z. That gets a laugh when you say it on Doug Loves Movies. Yeah. <laughs> Just because I wear a lot of sport coats. Uh, let me open up the Poke Bowl so we can uh, ash into it. Wow, you have so much cool shit. Right? It's really uh, fun. All Are these the all like we've... gifts that have you've accumulated over the time? Yeah, let me look around and see if there's anything I've paid for on this table. Probably not. <laughs> Maybe one or two. Mm. But yeah, I uh, people are very nice about giving me stuff. Too nice, you know, like we've got plenty. Yeah. So you don't have to. I mean, you, you can know. give me shit. I love shit. Yeah, send it to Ramon, uh, uh, Blazer Ramon on Twitter. Go to there and he'll he'll DM you his P.O. box or whatever. Yeah, man. <laughs> P.O. box is like that grown up shit I need to, that's like next level doing it. Mm hmm. Where's my light up ice cube and my drink? We're, we're really we got a nice setup here for this young lady if she yeah, just arrived already. It was the worst date. <laughs> what is the worst date you've been on lately? Or ever, I guess. Yeah, I don't I don't date anymore. No. No. I just say, hey, what's up? Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then go home alone. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. I don't know. Gosh. I've had some shitty dates for sure. One time I was in the Aspen and my date, girlfriend actually, but it was we were on a date, I guess. So you got a shitty threw a, date within a relationship? She threw a snowball at me and I got really mad at her because I was like, I didn't feel well already and I was I was like already kind of sick and she, hit you with she your threw a snowball points. at me and I was like, what kind of pussy yells at a girl for throwing a snowball at him? So you got, <laughs> mad, at, you got mad at yourself? Yeah. That's hilarious. I did get mad at myself. The sativa today is called Golden Ticket. That's what this blonde is. Nice. And the uh, indica is Lemon Walker OG. Now, how do they pick these names? I imagine Lemon Walker OG is, you know, the OG, of course, is original gangster. Mm -hmm. And the lemon, of Got course, is in the lemon is a citrusy thing that's in, you know, weed strains. And the, so you got, you know, lemons comes up a lot in different names. And then Walker, I'm thinking it's uh, that Skywalker might be a hybrid and mm. Walker is the that half of the hybrid. Okay. Stuck with the lemon and the OG for an indica that'll probably just knock you on your ass, I'd imagine. Mm. Such a complicated name. It's interesting that like, like breeds of dogs were made the same way where they just like mix shit together until they get the strain of dog they want. And now we do the same thing with weed. That is a terrific point. <laughs> we do the high history of all the new guests, so you got to tell us. You don't got to. When did you start smoking weed? And uh, um, I smoked weed for the first time with like one of my older cousins when I was like 13, and I I didn't like it because I was like I don't know, it tastes like burnt popcorn. I don't really fuck with this. And then like a year. About a year or two later, like one of my buddies, like I'd go over there and like just drink at his place, and he just start smoking weed. So I start smoking weed, and I just I've been smoking longer than I didn't smoke in my life, like time span, if that makes sense. That makes total sense. Can I tell everybody how we got to know each other? Yes, man. <laughs> uh, there's a club in Cleveland that I played a few times uh, where every time, if he was in town and could do it, Ramon would come by and he'd take me up on the, the there's like a rooftop area on the club that's like semi-private. There's windows that look down on it, but it's all like offices and shit, right? That yeah. can't, wouldn't be looking uh, at night. And we just hang out out there and uh, and smoke weed. Uh, probably blunts rolled by you. Yeah. Yeah. Or and little cuties, which are the joints I roll, which are a little smaller. Yeah, not like pinners though. 
The, they, I mean, the people would call them pinners. I call them, they're just, I just roll sensibly because I don't have like a bunch of like luxurious weed to just like roll the fat blunts and joints that other people do. Right, but like, right. Look at this, like this is a nice. Well, that's why people people are saying that it's wasteful to put weed that's in That's just because you don't know how to roll a good blunt. That is, you got a pretty tight blunt there that's not fucking around. We're smoking every bit of that. Yeah, man. If you, if you just ration it out properly, you don't got to roll a big you know, rapper type of blunt, unless you got funds like that, and then you can. I'm starting to think maybe like there's an app that uh, you can get that like... Um, where I'll roll blunts for you? No, well that's a good idea too, but one where you can uh, apply it to uh, when someone sends an Uber for you, you can, uh, you know, you can make it look like it's uh, cl closer than, than you really are. Oh, like a shadow Uber? Maybe. Mm. Cause why isn't she here yet? That's so Maybe weird. Maybe she's here and getting makeup done. Maybe. You know. But I bet you she arrived looking looking perfectly all right. <laughs> perfectly all right. <laughs> it's a great compliment to give. A let's woman. see if uh, let's see what's going on with the. Um... Oh, somebody even tried to call me now. Oh no, that's just the producer of this show. He was like, when I got here today, he was he kept calling me on my phone, and he was texting me, call me ASAP. And I was like, in the same building he was. I was here getting ready for this show that he has on a calendar in front of him. I'm not saying he's dumb. What is this? Hmm? You use that so you, uh, you could put like a roach in there. We can use it when we get to the end of this uh, mm -hmm. blunt, and it's uh, that way you can take hits off of it, and you don't have to put the flame so close to your lips. Here's a big one of my face. Oh, that's cool. And uh, here's a penguin if you go that way, if you like penguins. Man, you got so many options. kitty cats. I just usually put put it out at that point. You and your wasting, Ramon. I mean, I just eventually you just roll. It get, times get desperate, and you just roll all your roaches into one. Right. Well, my big play is with the roaches is to put stuff it into a pipe. Mm. I do that all the time. Yeah. Yeah. The whole roach, you, or do you unpaper it? Yeah, the whole it? thing, and then I just so the, I'm needlessly smoking the paper through a pipe because <laughs> I don't want to. Pry it all out and then put it in. But now that now that I think of it, I'll do it that way next time. No, it's a terrible. That's a terrible way to do it. You ever smoke with people who like don't know how to smoke weed? <laughs> Tell me what they what they do. Well, I I'll never. Because I get accused of not knowing how all the time. Well, I, the worst example is I saw like one of my buddies in high school. He came over and we were all just hitting a bong, and he went like this. And it's, he'd never hit one before, and he put his lips around it. Oh, Jesus. And blew in. Oh, <laughs> I've seen the blowing in, I've seen that happen. Yeah. I've never seen the lips all around it. That's the same guy that pulls his uh, underwear down to the ground when he's at a urinal in yeah. public. <laughs> urinal, urinal in public. Because you know a lot of us have urinals installed in our private homes. I would, I would like a urinal. Sometimes I'll just go pee outside. It's just like, <laughs> like nice time. It's like nature's urinal. You went in the bushes with all the uh, trans people. Yeah. It's a Stacy Dash reference, you guys. <laughs> Not that I feel From that clueless? way about trans people. Yeah, you know, she's like a political analyst. Man, they'd be stretching for some analysts these days. Yeah, and she said that. She said they should go in the bushes, you know, when asked what if, uh, you know, they don't know what, you know. They don't know which restroom to use. I went, you know, I was at the... <laughs> I was at the improv and I was trying to go to the bathroom and there's one door that has lips and there's one door that has mustaches so it's like obviously the dudes are the mustaches but everyone has lips so like technically I could have gone You're drunk and you're just beelining I got That's lips. what I would do I would get really drunk and then like die to the point where I have to throw up and then it'd be awesome to just kick in that bathroom door the stall door and throw up on a girl Really? That's sitting there trying to do her business <laughs> How gross would that be? That's, uh, have you ever been? I bet that's happened. I've vomited on myself before, but I've never vomited on someone. I think I've always gotten my vomit into something. Also, I'm one of those sick individuals that like suppresses it when I have to vomit. Like mm. I just try to hold it back to the point where I'll like, I'll sit with it for hours and you can just get it over with. Yeah. But I just hate the, the feeling of it. Yeah. 
Well, that's why I stopped drinking because I used to just like black out. So like there's been instances where like I blacked out at my friend's graduation party and like I was face down at a picnic table and I threw up through it like all over myself. And then my like tiny little sister had to like help me like not die and keep me alive. And I was just like, yeah, I'll just smoke, I'll just smoke weed. That's great, great yeah. transition you made there. <laughs> Yeah, I get blackouts sometimes on the because uh, uh, I get out of hand with the vodka when I'm at a club. It's all slippery, night. man. You having fun? I try to drink like a uh, glass of water or sparkling water in between each cocktail, but how do you decide I get tired of that sparkling? after a while. That I'm just constantly drinking just to get to the next drink, you know. <laughs> yeah, you gotta like piss a lot. Gotta go to the bathroom a lot. Yeah. Go in the wrong one, pee on a lady. Mm. Or in the right one and pee on a lady. Lips, man, we all got them. We do. I don't think you How do. many lips are on this door? I don't, just one pair. Yeah, so, yeah, that doesn't narrow it down. Not at all. That, well, you let me do a show with you at the Improv last time I was here, last year. It was cool. We had fun that night? Yeah, man, I usually have fun. Smoked I mean, right outside the club? Yeah. That's what I love about doing shows in L.A. is you just... Stand around <laughs> outside smoking weed afterwards. I've never had a cop say a word to me about it. Yeah. I saw some cops yelling at a dude about like wa spraying water earlier. Yeah, yeah. That's a serious condition. We're like heat wave and a drought. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, man. What are you fucking spraying? Yeah, that's a ticket to spray if you're spraying your driveway now. You can only spray well, why would you actual sp grass. Why would you spray your driveway? Same reason there's leaf blowers. It's just, let's just fucking move this shit around. It's the weirdest. Behavior. Uh, that's odd. <laughs> I don't know. In Cleveland, we have mad water. Sometimes it's on fire. Like, is there a medical emergency occurring that we don't know about? Why is she not here? She's just waiting, man. You think? Yeah. Like, she wants to come on during the break? I feel like, I feel like at this point. How long till like, the break? Mm-hmm. Two. So that's a plan, you think? She's coming on in the break? Yeah, we'll get her mic'd up and stuff, too. Okay. That's a good... Communication's the important thing. Yeah, man. Nobody, you know... And transparency, because everyone saw that. <laughs> everyone saw that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we'll be back with our... We'll have, to, we'll have the two guests, and I will stop obsessing on, on why she's not here. And... Uh, <laughs> You start um, obsessing of why lie, lying wasn't. Uber. That's my number one question for Ashton Kutcher if I ever meet him. Why does the little map with the cars on it and the time and the everything? Why is it is all he an full Uber of lies? Driver? Why is there so many lies on there? He's an Uber driver. No, he's invested in it early on, so he's uh, fucking more rich off of it. Mm. That's cool. Yeah, he's a smarty. That Ashton Kutcher. Surprising. I don't, I don't know where he stands on weed, though. I mean, I'm sure he's fine with legalizing it, but I don't, I don't think he's a pot smoker. No. I haven't heard that about I wish him. people were more just open about it, because there's, like, a lot of, like, professional-ass people who smoke a lot of bud, too. Yeah, a lot. Are you kidding me? It's probably... And, like, I... In show business, it's probably at least 50%. Yeah, and it's, like, it would show people that you can be, like, productive and get shit done and also just be pretty faded. Like I do, I get a lot of shit done for as much weed as I smoke and as much as I live with my parents. Uh -huh. uh, I, <laughs> you know, I do. And a lot people of time it. Yeah. You know, you, you you know you know how how to get. You know, I'm a morning. I get stuff done in the morning, and then I come to a show like this at twelve fifteen. It's just like, well, there goes that day. But I'm doing two more podcasts today. So oh, that's, nice. So those will be super fun. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I get high before all my podcasts, but there's something about this and the sort of you know the intensity of. Mm -hmm. Trying to keep this going for the whole show because normally you're in a circle you could be like I never do But some people after two or three hits are like I'm good, you know for some reason I just keep hitting it if it's if it's there just joints and stuff, you know, yeah Dabs is another story. Mm, yeah, I don't know how I feel about dabs. I'll we'll do, find I'll... out more about that. This is a good cliffhanger We'll find out more about how everyone here today <laughs> feels about dabs <laughs> after these messages
Thanks to our friends at Incredibles for supporting our special episode of Getting Done With High in Denver, Colorado. During the show, you may have noticed us enjoying some of their outstanding products, including this delightful high-end and effective vape pen modeled by Gabe the Magician. It offers a smooth draw with an E that lights up at the end. It's modern, sleek, rechargeable, and pairs well with Incredibles' other products. Incredibles? Get it? To see more of those products, visit iloveincredibles.com. We're big fans of Incredibles, and we're not the only ones. Just look at some of the awards they have won at recent competitions. The company's founders are committed to creating products of the utmost quality and consistency, and they're also dedicated to seeking responsible industry growth and are actively involved in education and legislation. Thanks again to Incredibles for helping us take the show to Denver. Be sure to go to iloveincredibles.com to learn more today. Hey, you guys. What's up? Our friends at Pokeball have a special offer for fans of Getting Dug With High. You can buy a Pokeball home dome frosted ashtray like we have here on the table with 10% off if you use the promo code Doug. Just go to pokeball.com, promo code Doug, to receive your 10% discount. This is out, and I'm gonna. Someone is gonna be fired. So that movie's trippy. Fucking weird. Holy shit, you guys! That's a <laughs> that's a funny thing to do to the host of a show. Just whisper in their ear right before you're live. Did you see the lobster? Because <laughs> that movie's fucked up. It is fucked up. Yeah, it's crazy. And so is LA traffic. And I'm sorry, Janice I'm late. Griffin is Griffith is here, everybody. You don't even know my name. Griffith is here. I Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. I showed up. Coming. I'm gonna roll a Dutch Master. No relation to Matt, Mr. Matlock. I, or the sheriff of Maybury. Lost on me. Went right the fuck over. It's Andy head. Griffith jokes. Um, I'm too young for that. Somebody, yep. I got a, I got, we got a Twitter message. Getting dug with the boys in South Africa. That's from Connor Moore. Oh yeah. 2806. So uh, thanks for I'm doing glad that. You're getting dug with us. Yeah, we got a thousand, more than a thousand people watching right now, and you've got like, some something going on here. What's happening? This is a Dutch master. This is what we smoke on the East Coast. You know, okay. pa past the Dutchie upon the left hand side. Right, that's what they're talking about. They're talking about one of these bad boys, okay. which is a full size cigar, which is how blunts are supposed to be smoked. Whoa. <laughs> she's, throwing, she's throwing something at you, Ramon? Are you I, cool with that I, statement? Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to roll this other blunt. Yeah, roll that <laughs> other blunt. All right. Um, I let's feel like see you're going to roll like a fat. I'm going like, to roll like a three gram blunt. blunt, but it's okay. Oh, breaking news for one of my other podcasts. Breaking news. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's not, no big deal. <laughs> 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 Breaking it's just, news! It's just all no, day long when you have shows. Everybody cancels or does, you know, gets there late. But you know, I'm so mu I'm so much prefer get someone getting here late than canceling. Or just yeah. like not fucking showing up. Yeah, they're not showing up at all. I, if we had that happen. I'm not sure if that's happened, but that's a, the beauty of sending an Uber, though. Is you know the progress of the person. We mm. would have gotten here sooner if we didn't take an Uber. But the numbers are weird. Why did Uber take a weird route or something? Well, we just like we were already driving so we had to like stop and like get in the car and when you're That's not how long does that take but also when you're not in an uber you can do whatever you want that's true like you could drive faster I tell because them where to you go have some, sometimes some priority a lot of them just drive fast without you even asking sometimes I I'm like dude I got plenty of time I actually noticed after like watching some of me on this podcast and I curse so much on it I say fuck a lot yeah Probably. Yeah. I think a lot of people do. Do you say yeah, it to strangers though, to their faces? No, I'm very polite to strangers because yeah. I'm scared they'll know who I am so and I don't want to seem you're just super comfortable. vulgar. <laughs> you, call, you cuss when you're comfortable. Yeah, you, like you stop cussing like around older people maybe? Yeah, Stuff or young, like or like younger people too. Kids, like children. So we're, we're, we're okay. right in like well, the sweet spot. If you have some restraint, then it's okay to say it a lot on this show, you know? Smoking some this isn't for golden children. ticket. They have to prove they're 18 to watch this. <laughs> they have to click on something. That's real proof. Mm -hmm. Are you over 18 or whatever age it's legal yep. to do this? Yes, <laughs> I am. Good. Fine. Here we go. <laughs> That's fine. Great system. Let's do some pot topics. Pot topics. 
sorry. That's all right. This is going to rock your world, this study. They did a 20-year study. It's published by... That's how long I've been alive. JMA... JAMA Psychiatry, and it finds that marijuana has no st statistically significant adverse impact on 12 different health factors. I have actually been hearing a lot of things No about impact on lung function, mm. systemic inflammation, which that I don't even know what they're talking about, but blood pressure, that's a good that's one. Like, inflamed. I feel like that's like joints and shit. Various Creaky joints. systems. Yeah. Waist circumference, well, I gotta blame that on something, and metabolic health. I mean. So weed doesn't make you fat, is what it's saying. It makes you snack. It's not a reason. Yeah, but it, it doesn't. It doesn't really make, make you, you snack. I think it makes you. Um, Compulsive. Yes, exactly. Also, like, I think it makes Needy. you realize that your body <laughs> is, like, in. Like, I feel like we don't eat enough, like, nourishing things. Like, we eat a lot, but we don't really, like. Fulfill. Yeah, we don't, like, nourish our bodies a lot. We don't have, like, the, when the cereal commercials, when they show you all the a shit you're supposed to be breakfast? eating. A balanced breakfast? Yeah, we're not. Well, like, we don't have enough of these items right here. These, these, Feed uh, me some. These incredible edibles that we have on the table. You can um, I need enjoy any of it if you'd like. And I feel bad. I'm just going to, like, Lots put of tasty flavors that fall over like that, one. no matter what. There's more weed right here. Okay. It's yeah, just it like a different good. strain, though. I mean, as long as everyone's fine with a nice salad. This is like I stumbled into a weed factory. Is we this new? Or a blunt rolling factory, I should say. I have taught my friends how to roll blunts in what I call, um, what is it? Like a, I fr like, it's like a school for it. There's a word I use, but we just sit and roll blunts until they're good at it. Like, uh. Like 20 in a row. You're like, like that, I, that Kung Pei dude from Kill Bill. <laughs> it's very much like that. Thank you for Like, you have to roll blunts until you're. I appreciate you're... it. Kill Bill 2, though, technically, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Doug loves movies. Here's something, yeah, I do. Here's something that bugs me. I've seen what? Deadpool a million times, so I finally found something I don't like about it. Mm. And that's when she says. Uh, like Yoda riding on Skywalker's back about their relationship. And uh, he goes, oh, Star Wars, I'm so in love, or whatever. And then she says, um, Empire, like nudges him, like, no, Empire, like Star Wars didn't encompass the whole Yoda <laughs> Skywalker universe. But that's what you just did was, to me. I know. I'm saying I don't like when people do that, and I'm going to stop doing it myself. That All was right, the man. last time. It was you acknowledging your, like, something you <laughs> dislike as a fault in yourself. I just, as a, game show, host, as a game show host, I like the specific answer because that's how Alex Trebek does it mm. but the trouble is my Why answers are so much more complicated than Alex Trebek's who do you think is going to replace Alex Trebek <gasps> that's going to happen he will never die. it better be Will Ferrell <laughs> <laughs> just, dress just go like on him. there and just do that <laughs> do, do his Alex Trebek and he gets paid more money to do that. To do or his Norm MacDonald be really would be really good. Mm. I don't know who that person is. Norm who? McDonald? Oh my god, he's so funny. Who's but uh, he is he is older. What about Pat Sajak and White? Uh what about him? What? I'm gonna even... replace that. Oh, I don't know about that. Those two, they they're robots. I don't think they've gone <laughs> away ever. <laughs> Probably not. Don't worry about those reti reptilian Like bodies. you could turn that show on and not have watched it for 20 years and there's nothing different about it. Hmm. Except they used to have to say, I want that Dalmatian for 150 and that other, they used to have to shop with the money and it was really annoying to watch because people are just buying crap they don't need. Can't yeah. pay the rent, but they've got a ceramic uh, Dalmatian. <laughs> Same. And that poor Dalmatian to be covered in ceramics and sold on a, <laughs> given away on a game show. Uh, what did I just see that I thought PETA would really fucking hate, hate fuck this. Fuck PETA, oh, they I kill said, animals. What they, what? <laughs> Have you not heard the controversy think, of well, PETA? Well, it sounds like a controversy if it's true. Yeah, PETA like has been like, like they like kill a lot of the animals that they supposedly save. Like PETA is a really, really, really bad organization. Wait, wait, wait! Don't maybe they kill them for? Uh, no, they it's, just they it's, don't have space. It's for... no, it's really bad. Like they save them, they save them from no kill shelters. Who's they and though? Because as a group, I think PETA means well. You know, like the people no. in it, the people no. that contribute Do you to mean it. Like, Pete? like the person. Like if I donated it? to them, am I as bad as them? Yes. Like well, the what, idea... how do I know exactly what they're doing? So is PETA like the Red Cross? Like Red Cross. 
Ross raised all that money for Haiti and then built like six houses in Haiti. Kind of the same like premise. Like Except the person who founded dogs. PETA like also hates pit bulls like or one of the people close to the founders of PETA and like has a vendetta against pit bulls even though they're supposed to be like all animals and they show like false footage claiming that like they'll show like this really gory thing and say it's from an animal farm and like it wasn't they it did was it? from a movie oh it's from a just a you know like they just it's, it's propaganda so they really, have like look into it. like the same thing republicans did to planned parenthood yeah yeah just fucking fake statistics mm. and bullshit I, well, I like a lot of what the idea of what PETA no, stands for idea, but at the same time i also want to eat a steak what, what they so they're, say i'm never going to be full blown PETA. Well, the thing is, that, don't, that don't be PETA ever because they're really right, bad. There's so it, many other Just be yourself. organizations are so much better. I mean, they just write, I, I, you know, I was big against the the whole, I went into the SeaWorld thing pretty hard, and so PETA oh, became yeah, like, yeah. oh, no, oh but we love you for how much you hate SeaWorld. But it's like, <laughs> I'm, other animals I don't give so much of a fuck about, so it's, you know, it's kind of... You yeah, fuck with otters? Up. No, no, I mean, I love animals. I just also like eating <laughs> nah, meat. Nah, don't fuck with otters. <laughs> Fucking otter. Damn. And you know, I mean, I might I, have to I stop eating otters. meat for health reasons, you know, at some point. Humans really aren't supposed to, but. No, but so good. <laughs> I got really freaked out about eating meat when I thought, like, about chicken wings and, like, sucking the flesh off of the, like, using the bone as a crutch to, like, eat its flesh. I always just think of how many chickens <laughs> have to die, like, to, to make, to, to to make, make my nugget. dozen, to make my dozen chicken wings. <laughs> like, that's at oh my least God, six. That's at least at least Six chickens had to just get it. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> poor poor I'm chickens. So sorry. There's, I hear they're really smart, like 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 a tic tac toe. Uh, the oh, U.S. Justice Department. You. Here's another pot topic. The U.S. Justice Department <laughs> announced that it will instruct all U.S. attorneys to stop preventing Native American tribes from growing or selling marijuana <laughs> on reservation <laughs> lands, which means They'll that they can the sell law. weed and make a lot of money that way off of uh, you know tourism and people coming to their casinos, and that also means Janice and Ramon. I don't know how excited Ramon would be about this, but uh, weed. Casino, like weed casinos, more. like Whoa. casinos. Ooh, that, we could smoke weed. We could smoke weed in the hotel. Instead you could smoke weed, and, yeah. Which some places they still allow cigarette smoking. There, Vegas. Yeah, there. But anyway, so that's cool for Native Americans, I think. Wait, so I could smoke a blunt at the craps table? I don't know. I'm saying that's what I'm guessing is going to happen. That would be dope. Because you know, Native American lands are all, all full of uh, casinos, and. Uh, uh, it says the only laws that will still apply is barring marijuana sold to minors. Perfect, yeah, makes perfectly good sense. Fine. Being made available to drug cartels. Yeah, fine. Don't give them any. Uh, <laughs> being grown on public <laughs> lands. Oh, yeah. Okay. Have, yeah, I we're gonna just try to grow it in the park, mind. or <laughs> spreading across state lines. I mean, those are all very easy spreading laws to not. Those are reasonable. Totally. In my opinion. Yeah, that's if fine. If I could smoke weed in a casino, I could follow those laws. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Oh, and Colorado teens are kicking ass. Uh, Making billions of dollars off of weed. Yeah, they're probably doing well with the money part, but they also say that uh, the use of Colorado teens of marijuana goes, keeps going down since it's been legalized. It's because been it's steadily not dropping. Anymore. It's not rebellious. It's not. It's like now it's something adults are doing that they just don't care about. Something you aspire weed. to, though. Thirty percent of teens say they drank alcohol in the last month, but only twenty-one point two percent said that they smoked weed. So yeah, alcohol but, uh, remains and will always be a bigger problem. There's there's a lot of, only lame kids do studies, though. <laughs> <laughs> so like, that's not like a, that's, that's not, not, like that's a, not a great thing. Ramon, it's not we asked kids who are studying. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's that they did a study. Yeah, no, I, that's, I also wonder about all like kind of sex questions whenever there's some sort like, of are you lying? Pull, sexual pull. Because everyone's, who's gonna say the truth? Well, and, also, when like, just asked by a stranger on the street. Have you ever seen, like, at, the, at like an art museum, they'll have someone just do sitting in the middle NDA, of a gallery, like... and they'll be like, hey, do you want to, will you do this survey for a free mug? Most people are like, nah. So, like, only very few lame-ass people are staying there to get that coffee mug. Unless oh, it's I one of these. Should, I should be tweeting about it. Which is pretty dope. I have, like, four of those in my house now. I'm catching up to Kassim. Hey, I've got terrible news, you guys. It's International Selfie Day. Or maybe you know maybe you just national. I'm just kidding around. Maybe just <laughs> national. Yeah, somebody just wrote, uh, and their 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 avatar is a pug, 
I it's like It's a pugs. cute little pug. So this person, you know they know what they're talking about when it comes to animals. I want to see how Says PETA long is super blunt, crooked. Your blunt. Seriously, Ramon. My blunts are. PETA is seriously crooked. It's a slow burn. I, that's, I mean, I just want to see. This is small. Um, I, I don't have your, your studio's Wi-Fi, so let's see if my tweet What's going to happen? Well, I'm just going to say, what do I tweet? I'm getting Doug right now. Sure, yes. if you want. I said <laughs> Estelle Gutty Doug with hi. I want to get a selfie, though, since it's national. Is it national or international? <laughs> Who selfie the fuck cares? Day. America's the whole world does anyway. Oh, oh isn't that true? I just, right at that moment, I noticed tiny I got followed by Tiny Trump. Penis Trump. <laughs> 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 it popped up as she was saying that. Uh, make a penis. make America gape again. Oh, oh shit. shit! Sorry, it's almost right. fucked up the whole show. No, it's no, we haven't knocked over the table yet, but it's got to happen. See, there's a man that gets the job done. I'm still Boom. looking at my apps, going, which one? <laughs> Did you guys? You guys know about these fellas, right? I do. Okay, cool. Please don't air horn me. I'm not gonna. You know about it, so that's no fun. That's not, but we did, we did invent fans, another word. There is a secret word today, and if you say it, we're going to air horn. Fuck you. I, uh, <laughs> I was asking my fans what kind of merch to make, and they were like, hot, and I wasn't even listening. And they were like, heavy, something heavy monkey like Doug. And I was like, what the fuck would that ha like? Heavy so monkey. I'm just going to sell like, like heavy monkeys? Like, you, you guys don't want that. Just like 12 pound little monkeys? <laughs> We could maybe hook you up with whoever makes these fucking things. We're going to repair them. I don't want them. <laughs> We're going to give one to a lucky a viewer that's a member of the 420 Club. Um, okay, what yeah. is your YouTube link? Uh, YouTube.com slash Doug Benson. I know one, that one word, not case sensitive. And while Janice does that, we got to do another uh, commercial break. We'll be back and we'll go a little long today because, you know, we uh, I was got a slow late. start. Yeah, yeah, we'll be back in a My minute. My punk ass was late. Hey, you guys. What's up? Our friends at Poke Bowl have a special offer for fans of Getting Dug with High. You can buy a Poke Bowl home dome frosted ashtray like we have here on the table. 10% off if you use the promo code Doug. Just go to pokeable.com, promo code Doug, to receive your 10% discount. This is out, and I'm gonna, someone is gonna be fired. Welcome back to Get It Done with we're back, oh, and uh, I'm God. sorry you guys had to watch the Poke Bowl commercial twice, but it's it, really, a good commercial, it really though. does come in handy. We really, uh, we really are enjoying it. <laughs> Especially with Vox, man. Uh, we added some viewers. We're up to 1,256, so thanks for uh, joining us. And we'll go, you know, we'll go a few minutes uh, long today just to uh, make I'm up for it. Because I'm an asshole. I don't know what happened. I mean, coming back from Vegas, I do remember this morning seeing you like, <laughs> tweeting stuff about being in Vegas. I was like... Wait this a morning? second. No, I said that I was driving back this morning, though. I was supposed to be in L.A. yesterday for a shoot, but, um, you know, life happens and some things got changed. I haven't hit any yeah, you of You got to go here. It, oh, yeah, you can do a bowl, too. Well, you, I, you, you know want. me. I consistently smoke weed through through the whole thing. Yeah, no, that's great. That's, uh, you know, the idea. that's why I was sitting here going, but, you know, she should be here for the whole thing. I know. I'm sorry. I'm, I owe you I'm one. Never, right. I'm never going to let you live that one down. I swear, it's more I was irritated that the Uber kept saying a number that was absolutely not true. We like, were like, say five minutes, you didn't show up for like 15 more minutes. Yeah, I hate when that happens. It's like, could you just update your GPS system? Yeah, get you're it screw, better. You're screwing all better. of us. Yeah, I've gotten in an Uber and had the it. dude ask me like where to go, and I'm like, I don't know. I want to walrus these. <laughs> walrus them. Oh, I want to hit this obnoxiously, like, hard-to-hit thing. I love that. You want to go the indica with it? Um, yeah, kill me. Yeah, let's do it. Well, here, where, actually, where'd it go? Uh, I think I smoked all, it's all in that blunt, so. It is? We already smoking the indica? <laughs> nice. Uh, but what's in that other one? This will be like, <laughs> you guys, we might have the first episode where we ran out of weed. Lemon. Oops. It's kind of exciting. Walker OG. Oh, we're also, it's almost over anyway. What am I talking about? We got enough. Nice hit on the Gandalf. And somebody on Twitter suggested this little Gandalf should be called Gandolfini. 
And uh, I love it. I love calling it that. This little black sperm. <laughs> um, oh, I just spit when I laughed. Oh, I'm so sorry. Are you guys ready for some magic? Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh -oh. I'm gonna make uh -oh. an, I <laughs> an iPhone power cord appear. Uh -huh. Ta da! Damn, it cords. Wouldn't that be great up. if you could just do that trick in real life? When you realize you left your. Uh, your shit's all frayed, your man. Your thing plugged into a hotel. <laughs> Dude, or just like leaving it plugged in. Yeah, it's really anywhere. frayed, it's true. Because it's in my pocket all the time, falling out of the floor. It's time for Magic Trick, it's game time. Hey guys. Hi, Gabe. It's me, Janice. Do you want to help me? Okay, I'll help you. All right, I have eight different cards here. There's a nice mix of face cards and number cards. I'm just going to have you put your finger on whichever one you want. They're okay. face up, though. The two? You sure? You want to change your mind? No. Ramon, you comfortable with that? Is this a, I have to pick the same card? No, just to, Is that okay. a good choice? You like the two? Yeah, I'm with it. All right. The funny thing is, every one of these cards has a red back, except for one of them. The two. Mm. Weird. <laughs> Are you sure it's weird? Hmm. Hmm. That was a pretty low key reaction. Well, every other time in my mind, I've been I've been just amazed by. That one wasn't as amazing. amazing. No, the amazing dropped game on the is... amazing scale. <laughs> Damn, you just fuck insulted his magicianship. Magicianship is that? How is that how? Is that what it's called? Yeah. That's what we call this. A lot of places we call it an internship, or we call it a magicianship. Or, or you going more like warlock? Like what are you going for? Sorcerer. Ooh, that's the whole. Yeah, those I don't are think he. I don't think he's got any kind of dark arts uh, ideas in mind. I think mm -hmm. he's pretty straightforward. Just Look hard out. into the camera right now, Gabe, and let's see if you got evil in there. I'm not on camera. Okay. He likes to show off. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, you thought he was on camera this whole time, <laughs> sitting over there like Andy Richter <laughs> style. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he is Sorry, sitting right I'm there, over this but fucking thing. that's just for Give the end of the show. I'm supposed to be wrapping it up, but we're going long. <laughs> We're taking this one in. Let's take it real into long. Overdrive, you guys. <laughs> I mean, the blunts are still going. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I was late, but I did show up. She and that's did. what counts. Yeah, no, it really does. It's like Most a, rappers can't say that. It's like a weekend dad. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Wow, did we just. What did we just do? Shit, what? Got, shit got real racial. I didn't. I, there was no race in that. Why, white people can be. White people are great weekend dads and terrible. <laughs> That's all, true. All across the That's spectrum. That's a good yeah. point. That's a real good point. It's interesting. You racialized. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, I just compared up with what I said. I thought it sounded awful. <laughs> it's all my fault. Hilarious. Well, everyone has been asking me to come back on your show as if it's my show to just be like, hey, I'm going to come back. So I'm sure they'll be happy to see that I am here. Yeah, I hope they're not. Don't worry, you guys. She's not like, we, she can come back some other time. We know how it works now. We'll say, we, we'll give her one time we say the show's going to start, and then we'll start Every 40 minutes Every other time later. I've been on time. You have. It's true. I'm not April O'Neil. Sorry, I love you. <laughs> What does that mean? What, just, what? She's always late. Oh, right. But she got to our show on time, right? Because we came together. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Everybody's got different levels of, you know, it's LA. tardiness, Add 20 acceptability. Minutes to everything. I know, but do that in the part where you're about to leave instead of the part where you're on your way. I mean, we the, were yeah, on we, our way. People on their way go, oh shit, there's traffic. And it's like, well, we we all knew that was gonna happen, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, Uber, the numbers were off and I'm mad at Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> <laughs> we're bone, Revis the second, Cleveland Accidental Comedy Festival, August 26th to 28th. You can hear passes and tickets at accidentalcomedy.com. Documentary available at makefunmovie.com. Mm -hmm. Blazer Ramon on Twitter. Yeah, my website's Blazer Ramon too, so all my tour dates are on there. So, like, I'm in Go LA till the end of July, just kind of doing shows and shit. So, oh, that's good to know, man. I'll have you back on one of my uh, my, <laughs> my programs. Cool. I have a plug today. Okay, oh, yeah, because your card, here, wait, your card is write blank. It write it down. in, write it in, and then I tell texted us about someone. It. I did text someone. Doug, what makes a good comedy festival experience? 
For me? Yeah. It doesn't matter what makes it good for me. I should have said for the audience. Mm -hmm. Because... <laughs> Something funny. Because I usually have fun at festivals, but for the audience, I go. think that, like, the one festival mistake I see quite often is, is music nearby is too loud for to, to be near spoken word, and then also uh, that uh, they should... Um, not say not 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 bill somebody as being an act that you could see and then put it in some small tent that gets full up and most of the people that bought a ticket to the can't. to be there can't have no chance of seeing that that advertised act like yeah that person they probably the thing they wanted to see the most or whatever. Hmm. Those are the biggest complaints I'd have as an audience member about festivals. Or mine's at like a hipster bowling alley that has like dope chicken. <laughs> I you. Sold me at one of those words. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's really that sounds awesome. And I gotta I gotta pencil it in for next year because I keep fucking up and having other things. Yeah. So it's it's the most me URL I could have picked. DJG dot XYZ slash things. Yeah. And that'll get what is that? what'll happen when people put that in. They'll get everything. A virus. It, it'll be um <laughs> they'll get everything. You'll get, yeah, you'll get like all the info on um like when my website's coming. There is Wait, you have a website for when your website's gonna drop? It's like my you know, like coming soon page. <laughs> oh, it's a coming soon yeah. page. But it's got links on it, you know, there's stuff But that's already there's a website. Stuff I know, but you know, you should have seen my plugs the last Two times I was here, I was like, uh, they're coming soon. Follow me on Twitter. So you're getting it's closer, fine. slowly. Yeah, slowly. like, I'm taking steps. Okay, I fuck with Let it. me live. Okay, bonus pot topic, you guys. Doesn't matter. Pot topic. Yeah, wow, really good on the button. Because um, this one just kind of irks me a little bit, is that, like, Melissa Etheridge is coming out really hard about how much she loves marijuana. <laughs> Melissa Etheridge is the like, uh, well, this is fun to describe. She's <laughs> like, uh, she's like the singer lady who, uh, you know, is kind of a country singer, kind of a country rocker, and then she turned out to be a lesbian, and she, uh, uh, had a baby with this other guy you probably never heard of, uh, donating a sperm named David Crosby. He from Crosby, his, Stills, and Nash. What if he was like, let me get it one time? I feel like, like nah. some of these things sound familiar, but also are so outside of my realm of interest. But tell me. Anyway, I'm Melissa Rethridge Rath yeah. is sort of a big deal in the music world. She's the a famous person to, to people that are older than, uh, you know, 21. You like know? your mom would be like, oh, shit. Melissa Etheridge? Yeah. My mom's an immigrant. She wouldn't be like that. So, yeah. <laughs> Maybe not, yeah. But you know what he means. Yeah. Moms know who Melissa Who's Etheridge your mom is. Fuck and, with? you know, in the LGBT community, like, she's like a kind of, you know, a big figure because she's been very pro being a, a, a lesbian and, you know, having some other dude's baby. With, I think she's more woman. pro not fucking David Crosby. Yeah. Um, she goes to cannabis cup events now and, uh, uh, she went to one in Michigan, the Cannabis Cup in Michigan, and she talked about her, how can, you know medical, medicinal marijuana has helped with her cancer treatment, and uh, you know so she's super into it now. But at one point she was booked to be on the show, and then something happened, or we you know we thought she was going to do the show. I mean she wasn't maybe she wasn't officially booked, but um, it fell out, and then I never really we never heard much about it ever again. It would be hilarious if you just booked some random mom-looking lady who you thought was Melissa. <laughs> Here she is, everybody. Yeah, I'd book her with Janice. We, just she, some mom. She and I just tell her all about what her she career. does. She has to validate she herself does. to you. <laughs> well, I knew like, as no, I was I saying, no idea. I knew as I was do. saying all that stuff, it wasn't going to make you go, oh yeah, that. You know, like of course you don't know that. Like it's just that's like ten years ago was probably when everybody was talking about her. I mean, I know She's about like the, some of the, like, yeah. I know some history things there's, in pop culture. There's much culture, bigger pop culture things but, than that. But, you know, not sure. her. Yeah. Sorry. She's yeah. like I'm really lesbian <laughs> Cheryl Crow. This is what I would describe her as. I'm pretty gay. I'm surprised I don't know who she is, but maybe oh, I just damn. didn't but care you, about it. But you know who Cheryl Crow is? Yes. Yeah, okay. They're very similar. That's a close enough frame of reference. My old 
older, but Cheryl Crow had more hits. Huh? Cheryl Crow had more hits. Like she yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheryl Crow like crossed. You go to a Cheryl Crow concert, you know every song. You know. She might be. Yeah, she had a couple. I like her. She was on the Billboard. How many Cheryl Crow concerts have you been to? I've seen her a few times. I think I saw her in Lilith Fair one year. Because I went to Lilith Fair a couple of times when that was a thing. Really? Yeah, just, you know, all lady bands. Huh. I feel like I've just been and lady singers. sitting on them. You know, the oh, songs you'd hear over footage of a dog oh. that's suffering <laughs> when you're trying to watch Here, I'll Family Guy. I think I've heard everything. What if I just never stopped this show? What if we just kept going? <coughs> what would happen? We'd need like more a weed. marathon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are. We would need we more. We are getting through it pretty good. Um, so I guess I should wrap it up. I guess so. Yeah. Thanks, everybody, for watching. The next show is most probably going to be Monday, June 27th, at a time we got to figure out. But I'm excited about a couple of the people. I think two people might have been snagged for that one. Oh, it's going to be in the evening on the Pacific Coast. I'll give you that much. It'll be like at 7.15 or 8.15 <coughs> Pacific <laughs> time. Thank you again to my guests, Ramon Rivas II and Janice Griffith. Yeah. Huge, that's a big round of applause by our standards here. And uh, we'll see you guys uh, next, next Monday. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.